John McCain's economic message derailed by a top campaign advisor. The key economic advisor to Senator McCain says it's only a mental recession. I say to my clients, you've heard of mental depression. This is a mental recession. You just hear this constant whining, complaining. We've sort of become a nation of whiners. I guess what he meant was that it's a figment of your imagination, these high gas prices. Phil Graham does not speak for me. I speak for me. So I strongly disagree. Let's start uh, with Phil Graham. On the one hand, this outburst did give John McCain the chance to disagree with him publicly. But on, on the other <laughs> hand, on the other hand, in a week where the Dow, that's the best you can do. We've sort of become a nation of whiners. Oops. Obtuse. He doesn't understand what's going on. It's like he's completely out of touch with ordinary Americans, and he is undermining the message of his candidate. This was an editorial meeting in a newspaper. This wasn't a casual comment to a, a mic that was not, you know, the he was representing, was <laughs> representing the McCain campaign before yes. the Washington Times. The next day, he met with the editorial board of the Wall Street Journal. It's not as if he's just Phil Graham a senior executive for a big Wall Street firm. It's, he's Phil Graham, a close friend of John McCain. Phil Graham, a long-standing top economic advisor to John McCain. And if he thinks the economy is in good shape, uh, then you know a lot of Americans are going to say, what does he know? What does he understand about us? Phil Graham was right, of course. Phil Graham was right? Absolutely. We are a, on two points. He made two George points. George Will not speaking for John McCain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, John McCain will, as John McCain will rush to assure you. Uh, oh, a, we're not in a recession, as commonly defined. That is two consecutive quarters. We of may be heading there, though. Well, Even yeah. Bernanke yeah. says so. He did, that could be heading there. We're not, however. His second point, that we are a nation of whiners. We, we are the crybabies of the Western world. In fact, we have an extraordinarily low pain threshold. We've got three Nobody other people here them. waiting That's to right. jump in. And <laughs> <laughs> jump. Yeah. Technically, we're not there. You explain that to the 8,000, 9,000 people tomorrow morning who will start filing for foreclosure. And every day that number goes on. Four dollars, five dollars for gasoline prices. The four to five hundred thousand people have lost their jobs in the last four or five months. This is hardly some psychological right. problem these people have. We actually have a poll coming out this week that we did with the Rockefeller Foundation about the economy. And people are in despair. 75% of the American public thinks the United States is in a recession. Not, not a mental recession, but a real yes. recession. And by the way, the other thing that Phil Graham did, even the way he talked about depression as though it were an imaginary illness rather than a real illness, doesn't help. How much was Senator McCain hurt by uh, Phil Graham's comments? You know, I, I don't think that it was kind of gaff week. There were about 12 of them, mostly by surrogates. Both John McCain and uh, Barack Obama had a little bit of trouble this week with their surrogates, uh, <laughs> Jesse Jackson and Phil Graham. Graham was the architect and advisor of the economic plan for John McCain. Jesse Jackson was a surrogate, uh, you know, an endorser, but never at all close. McCain did handle it uh, well in terms of immediately disassociating himself with that. to Belarus, yeah. he said. McCain took about three seconds to wrap him up and send him to Belarus. We're not going to hear from Phil Graham again. He's going to be in the witness relocation program for the rest of the campaign, I would predict. You know, is this joke, well, he might now be my ambassador to Belarus, an outlaw <laughs> republic, um, that, that uh, you know, I don't think America gets that. No, but his I economic mean, advisor said he will never speak uh, with Phil Graham <laughs> again. I haven't heard him dump from the campaign yet, although I no. suspect he won't be out there very visibly. Do you think that uh, Senator Graham should be dumped from this campaign? No, I mean, anybody who's, you know, been in the arena has put their foot in their mouth on different occasions. I I'm guilty of that. I think anybody who's been in office has been guilty of that. So I, I think that the question is, one, did the McCain campaign repudiate? Did John repudiate uh, what Senator Graham said? And the answer is absolutely. Um, and then the question is, does Phil bring uh, expertise to the table with regard to policy? I think he does. So I, I think it was a stupid comment. I think it was out of line with reality. Um, but it ought to be taken as such, and people ought to move on. Senator Kyle, what should uh, Senator McCain, your good friend from Arizona, do about former Senator Phil Graham? Well, first of all, uh, I think he already has. He's made it clear that he doesn't agree with that comment of Senator Graham. Is he still a top economic advisor to Senator McCain? I have heard about no change in status, but you certainly heard very loudly and clearly Senator McCain say, Phil Graham does not speak for me in this regard. I've always said Senator McCain is someone who has, in his own inimitable way, inimitable way, has always made it perfectly clear how he, how he feels about something. Ms. Fiorina, what is the status of Senator Graham in the campaign of Senator John McCain this morning? 
Well, John McCain, after making the statement that you just played, uh, was asked directly whether Senator Graham would have a position in his cabinet, and his response was, well, perhaps he'd make a good ambassador to Belarus, but I'm not sure the citizens of Minsk would welcome him. I think John McCain's been real clear <laughs> that Phil Graham wasn't speaking for him, and in fact, John McCain has said now for many months that he believes the economy is in a recession. The question is, will Senator Graham continue to have a role in the campaign? Will he be listed on the letterhead, and will he be in the meetings in which you discuss I don't think the Senator Graham will any longer be speaking for John McCain, and I think John McCain was crystal clear about that this week. And but I he, think, by the way, outside of Washington, where this is an interesting parlor game, I think most Americans are not really focused on what a bunch of surrogates are saying. They're focused on what the candidates are saying. I was in town hall meetings with John McCain all week. Not one question about Phil Graham. Not one question. Well, with all due respect, we have you here as surrogates, and we hope that America is paying attention to what you have to say. With all due respect to uh, advisors, it was also Senator Barack Obama who disowned his own pastor of 20 years. So there are times when people have to make clear their own positions versus the positions of others. And John McCain did so with respect to Phil Graham. Talk about change. If you, you want more of the same, I mean, John basically has embraced the Bush economic policies. We've just discussed the problems we have in the country today. He embraces virtually every one of them. Uh, I think Phil Graham was basically reflecting what the attitude is of John McCain and the Bush administration. Are there any significant economic differences between what uh, the Bush administration has put forward over these many years as opposed to now what John McCain supports? Uh, yeah, I mean, for instance, take, you know, um, uh, take, for instance, the, the issue of... Uh, of um, I'm drawing a blank, um, and I hate it when I do that, particularly on television. Uh, but t take take for instance. Uh